If you are looking for the perfect punch for summertime, look no further because today we are making an Aperol Gin Punch that is super fruity and refreshing. My name is Aliena and welcome to my kitchen. To start making our punch, we're going to add in some fresh orange slices. Depending on the size of your oranges, you can use three or four oranges. This is a really big punch, so it's great to serve at parties when you're having those summertime gatherings. So we can add all our oranges in, as well as a few limes that you just wanna slice up the same, just to add a little flavor to our punch. And now for our liquids, we are going to be adding in quite a lot of gin. This is a boozy recipe, so you can always modify it to your taste, but we are adding in five cups of gin. Okay. Next, we can add in our Aperol and we're adding in three cups of Aperol. This recipe also calls for yellow chartouche. I hope I'm saying that right. It's a French liqueur but I could not find it at any market or liquor store. So I looked online and they say you can substitute Jagermeister in this. And we're going to be adding in one cup of Jagermeister. I'm actually going to start with half a cup just because I don't know how this is going to flavor it. And I don't want to out overpower our drink. So if I want to add a little bit more at the end and do a taste test, I will, but I'm going to start with half a cup. We also want to add in one cup of freshly squeezed orange juice, as well as one and a half cups of freshly squeezed lime juice. And we also are going to add some bitters in. I'm going to start with five drops of bitters. This is optional. You don't have to add this if you don't have it on hand. Next, we can add in three cups of grapefruit juice. Also, my mom made some of these giant ice cubes. I really like using these because it melts slower so it doesn't actually dilute your drink. And we just added some rosemary and strawberry. So once it does melt down, that flavor can get added into our cocktail. I'm going to carefully place this in. Ooh, all right. And you can just use bowls to make ice like this. It's super easy to make. All right, there we go. Give this a stir. And you can add a whole bottle of champagne to this drink, but if you're going to be serving it for a long time, I suggest leaving the champagne on the side and then just adding it to your individual drinks because once that carbonation goes away, it's not as good in the drink. So let's fill up our glass with some ice and pour in our Aperol Spritz. And now we can top our drink with our bubbly. And now it's time to taste test. Oh, that's so good. It's so refreshing and light. And the great thing with Aperol, it's not very sweet. So adding the champagne to it makes it perfectly balanced. Please let me know if you like our recipe and what you think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next week. Bye for now and cheers. Mmm, so good.